Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today's video is a Project Pan finale. I am pretty excited. This is for Finish 5 by Fall Project Pan. This was a short project for me. I think I've only been working on this stuff for a little over two months and I'm a little bit late to the finale because fall started like over a week ago now. But that's okay, I'm kind of catching up on videos right now. This I was focused a bit more on progress than I was on empties. But I don't technically have any empties, but I'm actually still really happy with the progress that I made on this project. So yeah, if you like project pans and shop my stash videos, stay tuned for more. I upload at least four videos a week. I have a whole project pan playlist and a shop my stash playlist, so you can check those out if you are interested. And I do hope to start one more project before the end of the year, so hopefully that'll be happening in the next few weeks. Stay tuned for that and let's get started. As I mentioned, this particular project for me was a bit more about progress. I'm doing several year-long projects like Deck of Panning and Partners in Cream and Finish 10 in 2022, which are year-long projects and I'm really focusing on empties in those. So the first item is this concealer from e.l.f. and I did make progress on it. You can see this is where I was at the last update and this is where I am now. So yeah, you know, better than nothing. This is something I would like to finish. I really like this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I actually finished one of these before, but the last time I bought it, I bought a shade that was too light. And then I bought this one in medium sand, which is too dark. So I have to mix it in with other concealers to make it work. I don't know how I bought <laughs> two wrong shades in this, um, but I would like to repurchase it a third time in my proper shade. So yeah, I've been mixing that in with other concealers. And I mix it a couple times actually with foundations too. I really like the formula. I think it is great. Something else I'm focused on this year is project panning some perfumes. I have done very well with perfume. I am so passionate about fragrance. Like I would buy a new perfume all the time, but I'm trying to control myself. This whole year I've actually only purchased one new perfume and I have finished several. I really wanna finish more before I buy another one, although there's so many amazing scents that I'm just like obsessed with, but trying to control myself. Um, but this I made progress on, that was the only goal. Obviously this is a huge bottle. This is Gucci Memoir d'une Odeur. And so at the intro, I was like, up to here. It was pretty full. This is something that I got for Christmas from my mom last year and I just hadn't used it that much. It's a bit more of a clean scent, which I definitely prefer a more sweet scent. I do like to layer this with other fragrances. So yeah, this is where I am now. Definitely made some progress, but yeah, it's a huge bottle. So there's a lot left. I wonder how much is in here. Yeah, this is 3.3 fluid ounces. So but hey, I made progress, which like I said, was a big goal of this particular project. Now, I was working on a lipstick and I am very happy with how I've done on this lipstick. This is probably the oldest lip product in my whole collection. This is the Mac and Patrick Star lipstick in She Better Work and I am wearing this today layered with a liquid lipstick and a gloss, which I love to do. I love layering different lip products. So that's how much I have left. Now, I really wanted to focus on this and see how I could do on this, um, maybe to finish it in the future. I knew I wasn't gonna finish it in this project. That just was not gonna happen in two months, no way. But I made really good progress. So let me show you. These are the lines where I was at the intro, the first update, and then now the finale. So. I think this is really good progress, actually. I'm very, very happy about that. And then when you look at it, there isn't a ton left. However, bullet lipsticks are very, very difficult to pan. I have panned a few MAC bullet lipsticks like years and years ago, like I'm talking over 10 years ago where I only owned like two or three lipsticks. So yeah, I was panning them more easily where now I have like 30, but this is something I definitely want to focus on. I, I wanna keep using this and see how it goes. Maybe it'll end up in another project in the future. I'm not sure, we'll see, but I'm, I'm really happy about that. And I still like this color. I'm not so much into pinky nudes as I once was, but I actually really enjoyed mixing this in with other colors. Like today I'm wearing it with like a bit of a terracotta shade, so it's not quite as pink, um, but I really like it. And I still love those MAC bullet lipsticks. I have a few others and I've been buying those lipsticks for 
Oh my gosh, I think I first bought from MAC 14 years ago and I still like their products, so yeah. This is definitely the most exciting item in this project and that is the powder from number seven. This is the Translucent Perfect Light Powder and my goal was to hit pan on this and I did that, yay! I'll show you where I was at the last update. The dip was definitely happening at the last update. I actually hit pan only about two or three days after filming that update. So yeah, I had a lot of dip happening and now I have a lot of pan. Now you can tell that like over on this side, there is still a lot of powder. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, again, this is something I wanna keep working on to eventually hopefully finish. Um, I have really fallen in love with this powder. I've been using it every single day for months on my under eyes and to set my whole face. And I am very picky about under eye powder. Other than this, there's really only two other powders that truly work on my under eye and that is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and the Elf Halo Glow um, Loose Setting Powder. So yeah, the Mineral Veil also the loose version. So those two are absolutely amazing, but so is this. And this is the first pressed powder ever in like however many years I've been wearing makeup that actually sets my under eye concealer and it doesn't crease throughout the day. Like that is crazy. How is it possible that, yeah, I've been like experimenting and playing with makeup for yeah, like 14, 15 years now. And in that time, I've tried so many powders and a lot of them work on my face because my face is very normal. It's not like super oily or super dry. But under eye, I have lines and I've just always had them. That's just what my face looks like. And in that many years of experimenting with makeup, I've only found three powders that don't crease my concealer, which is crazy. And this is one of them. So I've been loving it. It's fantastic. I haven't repurchased the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in a while because I've been using this one. And then I also have the Elf Halo Glow one. But yeah, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil was like the original one that I tried and was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this works. And then I did put three palettes in this project just for usage goal to rotate through my palette collection. So I picked three palettes and my goal was to use each of them five times, which I did do and Natasha Denona Mini Biba was one of them, and I actually ended up using this, I think, a lot more than five times in the project. I love this palette so much. This is becoming one of my favorite Natasha Denona Minis, and this metallic in the middle is so stunning. This cream to powder is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with that palette. Definitely love it. And then the other one, the BH Cosmetics Smitten in Switzerland palette, and... Ooh, this is a good one. Oh my gosh, I did a, a look with this green. It's such a good green. Oh, love it. Also, this one's amazing. This one's amazing. I did a few looks using just this palette and then I also combined it with other palettes as well. Man, this is such a good palette. I love it so much. And yeah, I am still hoping that BH comes out with more larger palettes like in that size because yeah, I was like not that into those quads they released. I just thought they looked kind of boring. So yeah, I had no interest in purchasing from them. But that one and then the two other BH palettes I have, uh, the Barcelona palette and the Avocado Toast. Those three palettes are so amazing. They're some of the best formulated in my collection. Um, it's too bad they're not around anymore. I don't think any of those palettes are still sold. Um, anyway, they're still selling some of their older palettes, but I'm pretty sure all three of the ones I have, I couldn't find. Okay, and the last one is Pat McGrath's Divine Rose 2. So again, usage goal of five uses on this one in the project, and I did do that as well. I absolutely love this beautiful, like, taupey, what I, would I call it? Like a pink kind of taupe. It's stunning, oh my gosh. And then this matte, Kind of burgundy color is amazing as well. And then the duochrome, the purple to green, it is so pretty. So I love Divine Rose too. I'm really happy I got good use out of that. Overall, this was not the most exciting project since I don't have any empties, but just the fact that I did hit major pan on this powder and I only have this much left of this lipstick, that's actually really exciting for me. So I do sometimes like to do some shorter projects like this to work on some stuff. And then it also kind of, kind of helps me figure out if these are things that I would want to totally try to finish. 
So I think for sure, like these three are on the list of things that hopefully may show up in future Project Pants. So yeah, that is it for this video. Check out the Project Pan playlist if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.